Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to end Season 5 before you start Season 6. This is how you can pull off your own solo victory royale. So guys, this is how I'm ending Season 5. It's with the last tips and tricks video here. But dang, there's no chest in the roof here or in the roof. Okay, good. At least we got a gun. Alright, so I know there's somebody on the roof, but I didn't hear a chest up there. So he probably bailed. Oh, crap. We just need a shotgun. Early game, you want a shotgun. The SMG is really good. Like, I'm glad I got this SMG. But the thing is, is I need mats and I need a shotgun. So I'm going to just literally, dang it, no shotgun. The reason the shotguns are good is just because it's usually inside of the house, the very first gunfight. Oh, I hear people over here. All right, let me get some mats. All right, one of them has a gun, so I'm going to go for him first. And then I'll focus the other guy afterwards. There we go. Get this gun so he doesn't get it. There you go, boys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no, I'm under pressure. I suck when I'm under pressure and the dude's jumping around like crazy. My PC aim is not the best in the world, but yes, I am practicing and I'm learning to get better at that. But yeah, guys, whenever a situation like that happens and you see or hear people fighting and only one person has a gun, go out there and kill the guy with the gun, pick up the gun and try and kill the other guy just because it's an easy free two kills like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to get as many kills as you possibly can in a solo. So now that we hit that house, we're going to rotate blue. Someone's probably here. Yeah, they just got in a fight. So there's one last guy. He, this guy is the one that won it, but he's super weak. So I can get a free kill on this guy. Just gotta find him. He's below me somewhere. There he is. Oh yeah, he was dumb weak. Literally two bullets and he died. So look, look at that. Three kills already off the start. Play just a little bit aggressive. All I did was listen. Once I heard people fighting, that's when I pushed up third party and got the kill. So it's literally that easy, you guys. I mean, not a lot of people really realize this, but third partying is huge when you're trying to get a lot of kills, especially if you can manage to pull off the third party quick and pick off both of the people. Like, that's just two free kills just like that. Okay, we're going to get these apples, and then I think there might be people still here. Maybe, maybe one more person at this back brick house or this broken house right here. But let me get some apples real quick. And then we're going, we're going to go ahead and push that, get my health up so that way, like, again, you just want to make sure you're safe, protect yourself. I got good mats. Yeah, I hear people in here. But where? Sounds like they're inside just breaking things. I'm going to go inside. Oh, yeah, he's right here. He's underground. Wait, what the heck? There's two of them in there. Are they teaming? Oh, no, they're shooting each other. All right, this is when I just spray. Literally, third party spray. I couldn't get both of them, but hey, at least I got one of them. So there's another free kill. Four kills off the start. 42 people still left alive. Salty Springs is a pretty populated place. One of the, not like the most populated, but a pretty populated place. So now we are good. We got four kills, 40 people alive. Good loot, good stuff. And uh, yeah, we can get out of here. We can get out of here, go to the next city. Because Salty Springs is center, dead center of the map. So you can really pick on where you want to go, what you like to do. And stuff like that. So let me go eat this apple and then let's just get out of here. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, there's a guy right here. I'm going to shoot at him just because, one, I want him to get his attention. I want him to turn around. Especially when you're going for a high kill, trying to get a victory out with a, a little bit more than 10 kills. What you want to do is, again, shoot at somebody, tag him up a little bit, get them weak. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's one shot. There we go. See, sometimes it's not smart to just jump in there like that. Like how I'm getting aggressive and I'm jumping inside of the person's base. I, I've learned one thing that I, I do that so much to the point where it's not good. Because if I miss that shotgun shot and say he was a good person, he put traps around the wall or did something smart. He could have ended up killing me. So I'm risking it. So I should have just maintained high ground, stayed up there and just shot him from above. But the thing is, is I like to get in their face because if they're trying to build and stuff, it, it really makes them stutter and they don't know what to do and stuff. So that's usually what I try to do. Try to remain aggressive. Try to get in their face. Don't give them time to breathe. And basically, that's basically it. Because people choke under pressure. I, I promise you guys. Okay, so it looks like there's building over there. And I think I see someone over there still finishing the fight. So we're going to rush him. We have a launch pad. It's okay. Oh, my gosh. Right, we're going to kill this guy first. Again, we want more kills. So we're not going to rush the... Oh, my gosh. I'm getting focused by two people now. This sucks. Oh, no. He phased right through it. Oh, no. There we go. Holy crap, man. Guys, he was just walking and... See, like I said, when you when you rush somebody and get aggressive, it's going to be extremely hard to try and, like, avoid it because, like, you're walking through their stuff. They're freaking out. Like, right there, I freaked out. But luckily, I was able to trap him in a box and put a spike trap. But this guy's about to rush me. Crap. Oh, he's wall ramp flooring? He's he's probably a good person. He's a tryhard. Throw this down. Put that down. Now we got high ground instantly. 
and I can just sound horn listen to see if I can hear them. See, sound horning is big. You can hear where they're coming from, and you can hear if they're on you already. Sounds like he's over there somewhere, trying to climb up here. Yep, there he is. All right, I need to just chill. Let this campfire heal me up. All right, he's gonna rush. Let me let me rush him. I want to get aggressive before he can get aggressive. Oh man. Dang, he grappled us. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, I got so lucky. He was weak. Why did he rush me? Oh, he, he just got done with the other fight. I don't know why he rushed me like that. He rushed me as if he had like a lot of health or something like that. All right, we got to get out of here. I think there's one more person, though. But we got to get out of here. The storm's about to close. I have no type of heals. Let's double fort this so I don't get shot down. Oh, there's a guy right there, too. Jeez, why is everyone over here? But this is good. Oh, we hit him. We got to rush that. Normally, I would just try and fly pad away and try and remain in the circle. But, again, we're going for high kills. I sniped this guy. He's dumb weak. So, I might as well take the time to actually try and kill him. I think he's shielded up. Oh, yeah. He's weak. He's white health now. I hate people that just remain high ground. See, situations like that, man, it, it, it gets hard because they're just building up higher and higher. But I did forget. I do have the grapple hook. I got to remember that. All right, you know what? This guy, he's being an asshole. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to take damage in the storm. I'll end up finding him later on. Let's just grab a hook, take this flight pad, and just get out of here. Get closer to the circle. I don't know where he is in that mess, and I don't want to deal with it just because I don't have heals. Ooh, free kill. See, see what I'm saying, you guys? Sometimes you just get lucky, and literally people just walk right in front of you. Oh, crap. I'm out of ammo. Ooh, that little flick. Yeah. Sometimes you just get lucky. Like right now, I'm getting lucky. And he dropped bandages. I'm going to leave the sniper. Pick up the bandages. I'll have heals. I have a grappler to get out of here quick. I got good mats. Oh, no, not really. 293. I thought that guy gave me a lot more. Let's get out of here. Let's get closer to the circle. Try to recoup, heal up, box myself in. And that's basically the strategy that you want to do. Whenever you see build fights, whenever you see building just still being built, you need to rush over there and try and get the kill and stuff like that or try to third party. And apparently a lot of people tried third partying me, but I just sound whore. Sound whoring is everything in this game. Like, If you don't have a good headset, it's going to be hard for you to actually listen and see if you can find people. There's a big shield up here so we can get this. Oh, wait, someone's here? What the heck are they lagging? Oh, that sucks. They were lagging so hard on my screen. All right, we got a big shield. We got heals. We got a camp. All right, this is good. This is looking good. I just killed him. I'll go loot him after this. And then I believe there's one more person that's going to come from the storm. And it was the person that I was fighting. Let's get this bandages. Come back in here and heal up. Oh, no, the storm. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, holy crap, man. What are we at? Nine kills with nine people left. We're definitely going to hit a 10 plus kill gameplay. Hopefully, we can pull off the victory route. Because if not, then I got to sit here and... Find another game and try to re-record it, guys. It's, it's hard sometimes. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't win every single one. You guys watch my live streams. There's times where I just get destroyed, but I'm trying it out. I'm trying to help you guys out. Trying to give you guys the best tips. Hopefully, this guy had a lot of mats. Uh, decent. He had decent mats. It'll help me out. It'll definitely help me out. Ooh, blue pump. All right, now we're looking stacked. We got a lot of good things. Let's go rush this guy over here. I did hear shooting over here, so. I know someone's over here. I don't know where he is, though. Remain close to the mountain so that way you have something to catch yourself on if you fall. Oh, yeah, he's lit. Oh, he's building heavy. That means he's panicking. If you see building like that, he's either panicking or he's just a, probably a really good player, which he actually hit that shot, which I didn't think he would. Oh, man, I barely hit him. Oh, man, this guy's everywhere. Where'd he go? He got high ground on me. All right, we have the grapple hook. Oh, I missed. Ooh, barely tagged him. He still has freaking shield. Yeah, he's got to be weak. There we go. Jeez, man. See, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you got to get aggressive, but he was aggressive with me, and I was playing a little defensive. If you notice right there, I was playing defensive, and you could tell because I would take a shot and put up walls and stairs and then get back on high ground. I wouldn't just fight him in the open and do nothing. I would literally play defensively because I don't want to lose health. I don't want to lose shield. I don't have any of that in my inventory. So I just want to play it a little bit safe if I could. 
Let's, uh... There's only five people left. We can try and drop a 15 bomb. We gotta kill the rest of the people in this lobby. So you know what? We're gonna launch pad. Try and see if we can see anybody in the air. And then if we can... Oh yeah, there's people over here. I just saw buildings break over here, so we're good. There's probably two people over here fighting. Hopefully we can third party this. There's this guy right here. Oh, he has no clue. Guys, that, that's a prime example of why you need to have a good headset. Like, that guy had no clue that I was coming in. If he had a good headset, he would have been able to hear me flight padding into him, and he would have just heard the noise. So now the person over here, we're going to get aggressive. Launch pad to them. Use the tree as cover, and then I'm going to grapple hook. You ready for this, you guys? Ready? Grapple hook. OP. Bait. Oh, with the headshot, too. That's why that gun, a lot of like people are complaining about it, but a lot of people are saying that's not fair. That gun is way too strong. Woo, that was that was crazy. I love the grappling hook, though. All right, there's only three people left. I got to get all three of these kills if I want to drop 15 bombs. So you know what? We're going to rush. We have a launch pad, so we're going to launch pad. Okay, people are on that mountain. We're going to get to that mountain. We're just going to build. The second I hear him shooting at me, that's when I'm going to put my launch pad down. But until then, I'm just going to keep building. And the reason is, is because... Okay, we got to go. I was double fortifying it, so there's no way he was going to shoot me down that quick for me to actually put on a thing. I don't think this guy knows I'm here. Oh, no, he does. Crap. And he's got high ground. All right, you know what? We're going to take this slurp juice, and then we have this big pot. We got to remember this big pot's here. We can come get it in a second, but I want to keep this RPG just in case. Let's use this grapple hook. Oh, crap. All right, he's below us. There's more people here. I know it. There's a guy down there. Oh, man, he's rushing This guy's not bad. Just remain high ground. Stay above him. I should be able to win this. You know what? He might be shooting me down. Yeah, he's bailing. It looks like he's bailing. Yeah, there he is. The reason you can tell when someone bails like this... Oh, crap. Put a floorboard down real quick. Edit that. Re-edit. I'm going to RPG in there. Oh, no! No, 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 no. There we go. Holy crap, dude. I did not mean to RPG. I fell in there on accident. I was trying to open up that box and RPG inside of it and then close it again. But I fell inside on accident. But yeah, yeah, you can tell when somebody in a build fight, if they get quiet, like if they're keeping up with you and then all of a sudden they, they just stop keeping up with you and then it gets a little quiet for three seconds, two seconds, and you don't hear healing or anything like that or reloading, they probably drop to the bottom. All right. We got to get out of here, though. Two kids left. I got to get both of these people. If I don't kill them both, I fail you guys and I don't drop a 15 bomb. Let's use this. Uh, I don't know. We're in the circle. We should have high ground. We should just stay up here. There's a big pot around here somewhere, but there it is. Let's put this roof down. There we go, guys. Always put the roof down. Better to be safe than sorry. If that dude snuck up there and shot down at me, it would have been a GG for me. So, again... Better to be safe than sorry. It's okay to use a little bit of mats. Especially me having this many... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. I see him. There's another guy over here, though. All right. You know what? We're going to rush this guy. Yeah, he's dumb weak. We're going to focus this guy first. Kill him, and then we'll focus the other guy. Here we go. See, sound whoring is everything. If you don't have a good headset, you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, he hit that shot. All right, we got to heal up. Oh, no. Double fortify my floors. All right, we can heal up right here. He can't see us. We got pyramids blocking us. We got this, guys. We got this. 15 bomb. What? Oh, my God. He melted me. How did he even see me? I thought the tree was in the way. I got to get high ground. Yeah, I gotta get high ground. He's not gonna stop. Let me go up. Alright, I can heal up here. Jeez, man, he melted me. I don't know if he's good, though, because he, he's just staying down there looking up shooting. He's not building or anything like that, which means... Oh, yeah, he fell. This is it. He's not bad, though. Maybe he's out of mats. Oh, he's running low. Oh, he's weak. He still has shield, though. Ooh, there you guys go, baby. 15 bomb on a live commentary and a solo, you guys. That's how you end season five, baby. That's how you end season five. I want you guys to go out there, kill it, end season five the right way. That was smart, man. I literally edited the floorboard. Like, man, I don't know.
know, man. I think I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. But guys, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.